Hey, hi, this is Kribakaran Rajendran, founder of Algotrading from SquareOfWords.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about ChatGPT with respect to trading. See, when we first got access to ChatGPT, people were just chatting with it, trying to ask multiple questions. It was giving you the desired result. People were trying to use ChatGPT more of a Google. Like if I wanted to search some answer, instead of going to Google and then trying to find some I know, links and then find the right answer, I am asking the chat GPT to get the answer. That is what most of the people are currently using chat GPT. But with, once you upgrade to chat GPT 4, which I did last week by paying a subscription cost of $20 per month, it you now opened a wider perspective. It let me do the data analysis much e easier and efficient way. See, if I'm doing a simple you no know, data analysis, like you wanted to run a Monte Carlo simulation, or if I do want to analyze any simple you no know, trading related data insights, I have to do it in Excel or I have to do it in Python or I have to do it in AMI Broker. So people who know Python and AMI Broker are very, very, you know, limited people. So a guy, I always say there are guys who know coding but not trading, but there are guys who know trading but no coding. But a guy who knows both trading and coding is a deadly count. I always say this. But I'm from a non-coding background, so you know, learning AMI Broker itself was a tougher task back then when I started exploring in 2014. Then once I used, you know, get to know what are the things that I could do with AMI Broker, I learned AFL by myself and then only I started creating multiple trading strategies. I always wondered like if there is a, any way where, you know, without knowing these syntax, without knowing all this coding, is there any way where we could interact with the system and get the desired result? And the answer is ChatGPT. So with ChatGPT4, you don't need to worry about Python or coding knowledge, anything. You can get the work done with like if you're giving outsourcing any kind of work to a coder and asking him to do something, you can do the same work with ChatGPT through simple prompts, like through simple, no, plain English, you can get the work done. So let me show you what are the couple of things that I did in the last one week with ChatGPT4 that really, really helped me with respect to multiple data analysis that I used to do with trading. So let me show you a simple example. See, most of the people used to backtest, right? So they'll have this report date uh, you know, what are the date column and next to that there will be profit column see overall you no know, there is almost approximately around 11 lakhs 93000 of overall profits with the maximum drawdown of 3.8 lakhs and this is from october 2022 to almost 2023 october for the last one year so this is my overall returns now my profit and my max drawdown so now this max drawdown of 3.8 lakhs is based on this sequence of PNL. What would happen if we reshuffle this PNL and if we see the loss which is around no 1.84 lakhs loss which we saw maybe after some profits, what would happen if this specific loss came on the first day itself. So likewise if we just keep reshuffling the profit sequence. And then if we can look at the maximum drawdown, then we will have the worst case scenario drawdown. But how do you do what you can't do that in an Excel? You have to write a small code in Python to generate you know, the Monte Carlo simulation. The Monte Carlo simulation is nothing but what would be the drawdown, the worst case drawdown, if we keep reshuffling the PNL sequence. That's all. So I can easily do that using ChatGPT. Let me show you how I can do it. I go to ChatGPT and I just select ChatGPT4 and I select advanced data analysis here. And then I click on this file, attach file. And then I'll just have to attach this Excel sheet. I didn't mention it. Okay. So you're using this attached file. Please plot a maximum drawdown after performing a Monte Carlo simulation by reshuffling the profit column. That's all. Now I have to send it. Now chat GPT would you now read this specific attachment and it would start you now doing all the work by itself and it would plot the mano Monte Carlo simulation PNL. So it says that it would run 10,000 simulations, which means that it will keep reshuffling this PNL 10,000 times, various with permutation combination, it would keep reshuffling the PNL and it would automatically write the code and it would automatically plot the maximum drawdown. So now it would show you like what would be the worst case scenario. So based on this, it is plotting an Instagram chart to show you what would be the worst case scenario if we reshuffle the PNL. So from 3.8 lakhs maximum loss, this is the worst case scenario. It shows that the worst case scenario is 3.7.92 lakhs. 
so from this is the maximum phase where around you no know, 2.8 to 3.5 so 3 to 3.5 is the clustered range most of the time but worst to worst case scenario the maximum drawdown can go up to 7 lakhs so this is what the monte carlo simulation is so you don't need to write you know any big python code or everything would be done by chat gpt itself all you have to do is just upload this file and give the necessary prompt it would do the necessary calculations for you simple so likewise last week what i did is i downloaded the eod historical data from nsc for five symbols for nifty fin nifty bank nifty mid cap nifty all those indices and i want you know, to ask the chat gpt to plot a correlation matrix to see you know what are the list of uh, you know symbols that are correlated to each other so it showed like sensex nifty 50 mid cap fin nifty and bank nifty and overall correlation matrix it you no know, showed clearly what are the list of indices and like how fin nifty and bank nifty are highly correlated so all those in you no know, correlation matrix was much easier to plot and again i asked it to plot the correlation matrix for fin nifty and bank nifty considering only tuesdays so you no know, on tuesdays as you could see 0.99 and 1 so it is also highly correlated so people who are afraid of gamma move on, on fin nifty can easily trade on bank nifty also using the intraday data i have uploaded in the intraday data and asked the chat jp2 to analyze how many number of times the index has moved more than 1% on the upside like from open to how you know the day high and you know how many number of times more than minus 1% on the downside that is from you no know, open to low between 9:15 to 10:15 10:15 to 11:15 like every one hour time interval on thursdays so i i'm just trying to analyze the bank nifty intraday historical data only on expiry days to see what is the you know number of times a maximum movement of more than once one percent has happened on every time from 9 15 to 3 15 every one hour basis so it gave it just gone through the intraday data i just uploaded a one minute intraday data with open high low close values and it easily plotted me the required informations like you know it shows clearly between 9.15 to 10.15 where maximum movement has happened on the upside either on the no on the upside or on the downside greater than one percent move occurred only during the first hour time frame not on the rest of the other time frames so i could conclude this kind of like I, it is not a kind of a no buy sell trading strategy but a person who is trying to trade a non-directional system if he you know starts deploying it by 9.15 or 9.16 probably is going to get get hurt because you no know, there is a bigger chance of higher movements during the first hour so what i'll think is okay let me you know start doing this non correlate i mean non directional system from 10 15 onwards so that you no know, the movement is not much bigger so these are some of the things that you no know, really help me to take the right decisions with you no know, deploying a trading strategy or designing a trading strategy using chat gpt so if you are planning to know, uh, thinking like, okay, should I go for chat GPT-4 or not? Definitely $20 is worth it if you're spending so many times on research and analysis. See, chat GPT uh, you know, currently can't totally replace you know, any kind of backtesting platforms like Algotest or Stockmock because you have certain limitations in uploading a file. So when you're uploading a file, it, it cannot be more than 100 MB. But when you're trying to backtest with options data, it, it, this is a vast set of data. So that could be in GBs. So currently, Chat GPT doesn't support any kind of database analysis where you can't link it to any specific database and ask the Chat GPT to analyze it. But soon, definitely that would come. But once that comes, and if you have a database engine which you have created using all those historical data sets, it could directly read those databases and give you the desired results. So definitely you no know, maybe few years down the line that is possible but other than that if you're trying to do any kind of data analysis like i do with respect to sips or with respect to long-term trends or with respect to how the overall intraday moves looks like so all those things it can be done easily with respect to chat gpt in, in fact yesterday i tried to create a trend following system using a bank nifty futures intraday data it gave me a perfect clear picture like you no know, i i tried multiple various combinations if i have to do those things in ami broker or any other python it is going to take a lot more time and effort every time i have to change the code and again i have to go and read the syntax being a non coder it was very hard but with chat gpt it was much easier for me so with chat gpt you know for i'm completely just one week old so i cannot give you more insights about it but with this one week definitely i found it really helpful probably you know i'll dig deep and try to more you know, i i'll try to learn more about it 
so maybe in the coming weeks so once i get to know any specific interesting insights about how it could really help as an option trader definitely i'll share all those insights in the coming videos so thank you so much for your time and i hope you found this video really helpful and if you found it really helpful i would recommend you to share it with your friends so in case if you have any specific questions related to chat gpt4 you can you know put it in the comment section i'll try to address it so i'll see you guys next week with another interesting video bye